Hey everyone, it's Justin here. Welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Gold walkthrough. In the last episode, we got to Ecritique City and we defeated Gym Leader Morty. In this episode, we're going to head over to Mahogany Town and see what's going on over there. So let's uh, start by getting this Pokeball we didn't get last episode. We got an Ultra Ball. Nice. We could uh, make use of that for a new team member in the future. So Mount Mortar. Waterfall Cave inside. Okay. So let's head through here. And wow, that's dark. Okay. Um, I've already taught a Pokemon Flash, I believe. Yeah. So let's use that. A Blinding Flash. Wouldn't that blind us too? Great. Anyways, uh, I've already looked up the way to get through here. Kind of did a, uh, a pre-run, if you want to call it that. And uh, more wild Pokemon. So... The only Pokemon I've encountered in here was Machop, uh, Geodude, and Zubat. So if you're interested in any of those, not too bad. Like, Machop is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to evolve him, though. You would have to trade with somebody to evolve... Uh... What is his evolution's name? And I can't remember it. Machop, and then there's Machamp. And what is the one in between? I don't even remember. Wow. Need to brush up on my uh, Pokemon names here. I can see him in my mind, and I just can't tell you his name. Anyways, yeah. So if you want one of those, pretty good. There's Zubats and and all the like. Oh, come on. And apparently there's Ratatas or Ratatatas. I, I have no clue how to pronounce that. Nobody's ever like told me. It's just I've hear, heard a thousand different pronunciations. All right, there's the exit, I believe. Oh, come on. Dang it, this game hates me. Yes, I know you have strong muscles. I, I can see that. Wow, Taps level 28. I really need to consider using somebody else. What are my other levels here? 25 and 24? Yeah, let's use somebody else. Alright. Let's fight this guy. Hey! This is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Well, thanks. What a welcome introduction. I'm just trying to get over to Mahogany Town, and you're like, this is my place. Pokemaniac Shane, who has like a purple Pokeball. It looks like a Master Ball. I think I pointed that out in one of my previous episodes, but it's true. It looks like a Master Ball. All right, so you got a Nido Reno, or Nido Rena. Um, I'll just have to use Thundershock. I really need like Thunderbolt or something. All right, it's doing half. That's good. That's good. A double kick. That's barely doing anything. That sucks. I feel like we're kind of overleveled. Are we kind of overleveled? Are we underleveled here? I'm not sure. Okay, 400 damage. That's not bad. That's not bad. Our 400 experience damage. Psh. Nito Reno. Um, I don't really have anybody that's good against them. I need like a psychic or like a ground type. I guess I could try. Sandy, I think Sandy have a ground type move? I know he's a ground type, but we'll try it out. Yeah, I got mud slap, but that's about it. Bruh. That critical hit though. Alright. This is my place now. I should have used my moonstone. You shoulda, coulda, woulda. Hello there. Ah, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. Alright, this dude was much nicer to us than that other guy. Freaking Shane. Hello there, hiker. Gonna send out a Diglett? Well, that sucks, because I'm sending out Fluffy. So you're gonna be uh, interesting to take down. Let's see if a tackle will do much. Wow, get one shot. We've got tackle all things. So he's gonna send out Doug Trio. We'll definitely switch out for that, because would not be good. Um I'll send out Tap even though he's pretty overleveled right now. Alright, let's test out a new surf. We just taught him surf, so let's see uh what it'll do. Nice, one shot. 
Very good, very good. He's almost level 29. He's gained experience like crazy since I used him for Morty. Um, maybe I'll switch out into Sandy, start getting Sandy some XP. Unfortunately, Fluffy's not going to be able to do anything right here. But I'm trying to spread out the XP as much as I can. Oh, so close. It was super effective, but so close. Ouch. Rock throw. And they need to heal, too. Alright. Defeated him. Hiker Benjamin was defeated. Gahaha. So, I don't know exactly what Pokemon you can find in this grass right here, but I do know you can find Mankeys, and I was considering using that on my team. I do like Mankey, actually. So, I might come back and do that at some point. I'll probably train it off-screen if I do decide to do that. I'm still figuring out my team. A while ago, I had the team all picked out, but now I don't even remember what it was. While visiting Mahogany Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. Alright over to the gym. Who are you? Why are you blocking the gym? Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. In other words, we have to regress with the plot before we can go to the gym. Wah wah wah. Alright, so let's heal up first and then we're gonna head north to the Lake of Rage. Because apparently we have to go do some sightseeing first, which I'm all, I'm all down with. I like sightseeing. Alright. Let's talk to some people. What are you guys up to? What's this? Team Rocket has come back? I saw some men in black at Lake of Rage. Oh, okay. So I know what's going on there now. Pokemon do become stronger when they evolve, but they also learn moves more slowly. Hmm. That is true. I stop my Pokemon from evolving too early. I make them learn certain moves before I let them evolve. I don't know. As a kid, I never understood that. And even nowadays, I don't think I ever follow that rule. Because, yeah, there is some Pokemon that will learn, like, the better moves earlier if you don't evolve them. But I never take the time to do that. Alright, let's head up here. And where are we now? Route 43, Lake of Rage, Mahogany Town. Alright. Hello there. How are you doing on this fine day? I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. Yep, Pokemon are pretty fun. You can do quite a lot. Like, you can make them battle each other until they're about to faint and die. And, yeah, it's great. Really wonderful. Gosh, why does everybody have ground types? Fluffy's gonna get no training here. <sighs> okay, Tap. I'm just gonna have to give you some more XP, even though you have so much already. I'm hoping this next gym will be able to use somebody else for it. Except they're going to be under-leveled for it, of course. So let's see, let's use a Surf. Alright. Alright, what else do you have? A Zubat. Okay, I can switch back now. We'll go to Fluffy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed too early. Ah, uh, okay, let's just do the bite. I'm sorry, Fluffy. I really tried, but I accidentally went up too far and pressed cancel. I feel bad now. I'm a bad trainer. Alright. Can I use Fluffy in this next one? No, Sand Slash. Oh, oh I feel so bad now. Fluffy could have been useful, but I was like, nah, I'm just going to power through with tap. Surf's up, dude. And you are KO'd. Gosh, he's getting so much XP. Like, I'll definitely be able to fall back onto him if I need him, but I'm going to generally try not to use him too much right now. Losing isn't fun, yeah. I can, I can agree with that. So now there's two different routes you can take right here. You can either go up through this grass, or you can go up here, which seems easier, right? What does this sign say? Trainer tips. All Pokemon have pros and cons depending on their types. 
If their types differ, a higher level Pokemon may lose in battle. Learn which types are strong and weak against your Pokemon's type. That's something you should be including in the very start of the game, but okay. So, like I said, you can go that route or this route, and I'm going to show you what happens if you go this route and why you probably don't want to go this route. Uh-oh, Team Rocket. Hold it there, mister. The toll was $1,000 to go through. Thank you, sir. So they take $1,000 away from you, and you have no say in the matter. So yeah, there's... I can't really recommend going that way. I would rather just go through the grass, have to deal with some Pokemon battles, than get $1,000 taken away. But you can go through here and get a Max Aether, and if you really want to skip all the trainers and all the grass and stuff, you can go that way. I'm gonna go back and see if I can fight these trainers, just because more XP, right? A giraffe rig. Okay. That's not something you see every day. Okay, he doesn't even want to fight me. Alright. So I'll fight this chick. Are you going to Lake of Rage 2? Let's play for a little while. Alright, let's do it. I'm ready. I'm rearing to go. Just don't have a ground type and I'll be okay with that. Okay, Clefairy, I can deal with that, right? Fluffy, you can take a Clefairy. You might get a little bit hurt, but that's okay. As long as you can faint it in like three hits, I'd be... Okay, Paralysis. Okay. Or Paralysis. Yeah, it's fully paralyzed. Okay, so it's looking like it's gonna take four hits. Yes, okay, it missed. Thank you. Okay, it took three. Not bad, not bad. I said if it took three, I'd be okay with that. So. Bye bye Tiffany. I played too much. You only had one Pokemon. You barely played with me at all. It took me like three turns. Hello there, sir. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? Um... Toted Isle is considered rare. There's not a whole lot of them. Does that count? So the Pokema Pokemaniac Brent. A Lickitung? Okay. That's probably not that common here. I haven't seen one at least. Oh man, I'm doing even less to this one. Oh man, it's doing quite a bit. Okay. Let's see if I can get a critical hit or something and that'll make this battle a lot less consuming of time. At least I'm hitting first, so it can't uh, flinch me. Because I believe Stomp can flinch you, right? Oh man, okay. Can you defeat it? Can you do it? Yeah, good job, Fluffy. Good job. Alright. Well, we need to get a Thunderstone to evolve Fluffy, don't we? What do we have? Do we have any Thunderstones? I'm not seeing any. Ooh, I have Repels? I didn't know that. Since when did I have Repels? Man. So we do have some potions. I'm gonna use at least one. So I'm gonna need to figure out where we can get a Thunderstone so we can evolve. Alright, so I think we've Fought most of the trainers that were back there. Would you get this? Some noob guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. My Pokemon are great. Don't listen to that noob. I don't like that noob. He's a meanie head. Pokemaniac Ron. You are great. Except for the fact you're using Nido King when I'm trying to train Fluffy. That is not great. That means I have to switch into tap and give him more XP when I'm trying not to overlevel him. Double kick. Alright, didn't do a whole lot. That's not too bad, not too bad. Should be able to defeat him with a surf. I'm so overleveled right now. Yeah, look at that one shot. Tap, you're too good. At least we got some XP for Fluffy. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to. My Nino King did pretty right on. He was pretty good. He was pretty good. I'll give you that. Nino King is a really, really strong Pokemon. 
I love Pokemon, that's why I started and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. That's pretty much how every Pokemon fan started. They loved Pokemon, so they kept collecting. Slow bro. Yes, finally somebody that I can use Fluffy for. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, look at that, doing half. That's great. Fluffy feels super useful right now, I'm sure. You better watch out. He's got something biting his tail, though. And I got a critical hit. I don't even need that. Nice. Look at all that XP gain. How could you do this to me? I thought we were friends. No, actually, we're not friends. Let's see, Route 43, like Rage, Mogany Town. Okay. So we must be nearly there. Yep, I see water. Looks like we're there. So first let's check out what there is to see around here. Fishing Guru's house. Oh, hello there, Anthony. Justin, howdy, it's me, Anthony. Isn't it nice out? Want to battle? It's not going to be a repeat of last time we met. I'll be around Route 33. That's a ways back. We're on like Route 43. I'm not going to go back to fight you. Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed. And that's the story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. So apparently something's happened to the lake and they can't catch Gyarados. Or, uh, Magikarps, excuse me. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake but I thought Gyarados were usually blue. What? What? It's a red Gyarados. Yeah, so I actually did know there was already a red Gyarados here, and that's kind of why I started talking about Gyarados, even though we were just talking about Magikarps. This is the only game that I know of that you can find just a wild, shiny Pokemon that's like part of the story. How awesome is that? The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. So yes, there is a red, shiny Gyarados up there. But first I'm gonna go see if there's anything we can do up here real quick. Do you have anything to say about this? There's a red Gyarados! I heard this lake was made by rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to their mass outbreak now. Okay, so I think he knows, even though he's not as excited as I am. Okay, so nothing up there. I did see a Pokeball though. So, should we go fight that Gyarados? I think we should. Let's see if we can catch it. The water's calm, but the Gyarados apparently is not. You wanna fight me, bro? I got a red uh, Lapras right here. So let's plan our strategy. Who are we gonna use? Um, Fluffy is the logical choice. Let's try using an electric move. And we'll go for that. Gyasha! Oh, bruh. It's so cool. It's a red freaking Gyarados. Okay, so... We're gonna start this off with a Thundershock. Now, only a word of warning is he knows a move called Thrash, and he will hurt himself. So you don't want to lower him too far. Okay, that's... Honestly, that's probably good. And then I'm gonna Thunder Wave him. And just try to catch him. So it might take me a while. But I kind of planned this video just to be about catching Gyarados. Because I knew we were gonna go to the Lake of Rage. And I knew he was gonna be hard to catch. Okay, so our goal is to... Uh, to catch this Gyarados. I don't know if we'll use him on our team. I already have a Water type, but I'm just like... Red Gyarados, let's do it, you know? Oh, I thought I had him. I was like, what? No way. I'm doing all this preparation. I'm just going to catch him the first try. It wouldn't be the first time I caught a cool Pokemon the first try. I know in the new games, I caught uh, Tapu Koko my first try. I was like, yeah, boy. So cool. Okay, so let's just keep chucking Pokeballs. I'm kind of intending for him to hurt himself later, so... That's why I'm not going to get him down super low like I usually would a Legendary. 
For some reason, he's not using that move. So maybe that's a good thing. Come on. Oh. It appeared to be caught. No, it didn't. Yeah, he's gonna use Thrash. Now, Thrash, the way it works is he can hit two to three times, and then he goes into confusion. And then he's gonna start hurting himself. So that's why I'm like, eh, we don't want to get him down too low, because he's going to hurt himself. Now, unfortunately, Thrash is a very strong move. It has like a 90 power or something like that. So it's going to do a lot of damage to us in the process. Now, I'm hoping we can catch him before I run out of Pokemon. That would kind of suck if I fainted, you know? No, go ahead and hurt yourself a little bit. Just a little bit, so I can uh, catch you easier. You just gotta hurt yourself a little bit, Gyarados. Just a little bit. Yeah, just hurt yourself. Just a little bit. Okay, not too bad. See, that's all I wanted you to do. Just hurt yourself a little bit. Here, I'll... With a decent success rate. A ball for Pokemon hooked by a rod. I, I didn't hook this by a rod, so let's try an Ultra Ball. I don't even think you can buy Ultra Balls yet, so let's see how this does. Nope, just shook once. Alright. Okay, so he's paralyzed. Alright, that's good. We want him to be paralyzed. Uh, let's try a Great Ball. If not, I have better luck with Pokeballs. Even though I love how that's blue like that, that's so cool. Yeah, see, I don't have any luck with Great Balls. I just have really good luck with Pokeballs. So let's try it out. Okay, one, two, three. Oh. I thought I had him. At least he's getting paralyzed a lot. Look at that. Three times in a row. Okay. 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 Yes! Okay, there we go. We got him, guys. Got the shiny Gyarados set. See, that's what he's supposed to look like. He's supposed to be, like, blue, which looks really cool, too, but... We got a red one. They say that during past wars, Gyarados would appear and leave blazing runes in its wake. It weighs 500 pounds? Bruh. Bruh. And he's 21 feet tall. Uh, do we want to give him a nickname? No, not really. And we obtained a red scale. Okay. Apparently that is a key item, so that's going to be important for later, I guess. And yes, we're going to encounter our Pokemon. A Magikarp. See, this one's red. The Magikarp's supposed to be red. The Gyaradoses are not supposed to be red. How far up to here do I have to go? What? How do I get over to the other route, then? Huh. I don't know. I guess I won't worry about it. Let's just go back to Mahogany Town. I was just really excited to catch that Gyarados. That was what I wanted to get done this video. Visit uh, the Lake of Rage and do that. Okay. Why, hello there. Who are you? This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? Uh, I came here because I had to to face the gym. I was told to go sightseeing. You're Justin? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. Lance? As in Elite Four Lance? I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Justin. I can tell you you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure. Why not? Uh, an Elite Four member wants my help? Alright. Excellent. It seems that you and your... Seems that the lake's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is that cause. I'll be waiting for you, Justin. What? What? Where did he... What? Where did he just go? What? What is this magic? What? He just totally teleported in the middle of the- What? He's not even in a cave or anything. Does he have like an Abra or something? Like, 
What? I don't get that, but okay. Alright, so we're definitely not going back through there. We're gonna get robbed. I think you can get robbed in the way back, so do not go through there at all. And there's no items, and it keeps making me think there is. So we'll go back through here and come down here. Can I go in the gym yet? Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out the lake. I already did! Nope, nope. I just want to stay right here. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We did quite a bit of this episode. We ended up catching the Red Gyarados, and I'm excited about that. And we fought a bunch of trainers and made progress. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode when we go to help Lance, who is actually of the Elite Four. I believe. I think I'm remembering that correctly. The name just sounds familiar. So, I'll see you guys next time.